What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to uh, another max reaction, another win, <laughs> I think uh, that's fun to say, uh, compared to last season, but <clears throat> we won 3-0 away to Lecce, I predicted a 1-0 win, and uh, at halftime I thought not even the 1-0 uh, was gonna happen, and if you, if somebody watched the first half and then needed to head out, came back and asked you what the score was, and you told him we won 3-0, he would not believe that. Uh, he would have not believed that, uh, but we did at the end. We <clears throat> we did what we had to do, uh, and that's win uh, at the end comfortably. Also, not conceding a goal. I think that's the first uh, game we didn't concede a goal away from home in four. So uh, out of the f five games, this is our first one. So that's a good thing. Also because Allegri has been pushing and hammering about that uh, all uh, all presser for the last two weeks. So that's a positive. Uh, but we did what we had to do. We go top for now because Inter have a game in hand. However, you put pressure on Inter. You know they are playing for the Coppa Italia. They know. They also know now uh, they cannot miss out. You know, and against us uh, in two weeks, it's a big one, even with the game in hand. But before we do that, as always, like the video. Let's push you. Let's push you 100 likes. Uh, I never said that. So uh, the goal is 100 likes. Hit that like button now. Really appreciate it. And let's jump straight into uh, the reaction. Okay, so we do start off with the first half, obviously. Uh, be, that that was... It wasn't a disaster first half, but quality-wise, I think it's one of the poorest first half, half of foot, halves of football I've seen us play this season. And that's quite telling. You know, I know we're good in the league, but we have had some very poor halves. That's up there, you know, because it was sloppy. It was clueless it was i don't know scared we got our muscle you know and, and i know people want to talk about miretti i'm gonna do that in the player ratings because he was awful he was dreadful but other than miretti like we couldn't keep hold of the ball you know we just moved it away which was weird uh because that was not the way to go uh we couldn't string a couple of passes together we couldn't uh get cambiasso in the game uh McKenny was struggling kostic <clears throat> Couldn't even get a cross off, you know, there was no opportunity to even do that as well. Like, that first half was extremely poor, and that's down to Lecce. I'm not saying Lecce were pure quality, but the way they set up and the way they were pinning us, our wing backs, Mekani and Kostic, down on the on the, <clears throat> on the the sideline was uh, a credit to them. And uh, we struggled, we had no idea how to deal with it. You know, we would assume you would be playing a bit more between uh, the lines of space, but we didn't, you know, from the back. They were just hoofing it away, Danilo, Bremer, Gatti, and it was pointless, you know, because Vlaovic was struggling to keep it up there. And when he did, there was not, no really want nobody, excuse me, to connect with. So that first half was actually a disaster in terms of, not the result, because it was nil-nil, but in terms of what you could actually produce and put out there, that was extremely bad, you know. And I don't think it was as easy as pull McKenny, uh, McKenny pull Miretti, that had to be done, by the way. Uh, but it was just a mindset. I felt like we were scared to win our duels and all those things brewing together resulted in a, a garbage performance in that first half. You know, it is what it is. Lecce are not easy to beat at home. You know, if you watch that preview and the stats, they were quite impressive at home for a team uh, like Lecce. So it wouldn't be easy. I knew that, but that was really poor. Now that second half was better. Like, it's not that we... Like, even when we won 3-0, it wasn't a 3-0 performance. Oh, you'll take it uh, any day of the week. However, what was bad in the second half, we controlled the game more. You know, Lecce really struggled to actually put some pressure on us. And that was very important. You know, it, we didn't need to play amazing football or fantastic football, whatever you want to call it. We just needed to keep the ball a little bit better, you know, don't let Lecce really cross that midfield because that was too much in first half. In the first half, and even in and around the box, there were opportunities for them. The good thing is they have absolutely no quality, you know, in that team to be honest, and that helped us. But in that second half, we did what we had to do. We got a few chances and we put them all away. You know, yes, there were quote unquote scrappy chances. We didn't outplay them, you know, but Vlaovic, um, like I sticked up for him. 
Uh, I criticized him, but I never gave up on him for this reason because at the end of the day, he knows how to score goals. He is scoring goals. I don't know how he, how many he has on the season. Ten in Syria, I think ten or nine, whatever. Uh, but what I do know is he had six in his last five and two assists. Uh, so he is on a very hot streak. Uh, that's a Vlaovic I think he can be and should be, by the way. Not think. He should be that Vlaovic. He's putting away the chances. Um, and that's what we need to do. You know, if you somehow w- want to win the league, um, he's not going to get Lotaro uh, numbers, nor Turam, nor will any on our... Any player on our team will probably do that. However, that's not our style. But we we are going to need Vlaovic because he, he kind of breaks that game open. You know, it was good from Cambiasso. Actually, it was good from Yildiz, the way he picked up that ball. Good shot from Cambiasso. And to follow that through, put that into the box. Great finish from Vlaovic. The second one was, um, well, <laughs> probably McKennie's goal. But he took away McKennie's goal and Kostic's assist in one, in, in one, in one tap in. But... That's a striker, and I'm I'm happy he took the, away that goal from McKenny because he needs that confidence boost. Like he needs to keep, keep riding that wave, especially going into that Inter game. So that was fantastic. And then Bremer at the end, you know, from a great cross from Junior, three 0 to top it off. Um, funny enough, like we kept a clean sheet, but I had a feeling uh, that backline was more shaky compared to games where we did concede a goal lately, which is a bit weird. But there were some. Um, Moments where we just misread the ball, like Kostic, uh, Kostic, um, Bremer, you know, early in the first half, it wasn't a pen, but like, I don't know what he was doing there. <laughs> like, he just stood still and he let the player skip him by for no good reason. Um, Gatti made a few uh, errors in reading it. Danilo in the first half, a couple of times, where he just misread uh, a long ball. It was very strange. Um, it wasn't a good game, you know, we won 3 0, which is crazy but i'll take it you know that's what i said you know preview you need to win now you need to win against Empoli, and you need to get into the inter game with a lot of confidence hopefully with everybody fit to go again you know and to play that big game but the most important thing today was put pressure on inter game in hand fine i know it we have a game they have a game in hand however they're out there playing for the supercopa you need to tell them what we want when you come back you need to pick it up again, you know. Even if you won the cup, you cannot rest because we're not giving up. That's the signal you needed to send. That's a signal we did send. Uh, and now it's just regroup and we go again again uh, against Impoli because that's um, that's also a big one ahead of that Inter game, you know, mentally, obviously for the standings, but just mentally as well. Uh, I know people want to talk about ratings. I'm going to put out my ratings tomorrow because I do have a lot of things to talk about and don't worry I'm gonna talk about Miretti um, and some others because I think there were more poor performances than good ones and that might sound crazy in a 3-0 win but yeah I think we all watched that game you know I'm happy <clears throat> happy we, we, we won um, because this is this is what we do now you know we find a way to win and we did find a way to win today and that's the most important thing so 3-0 Good win. We'll keep it moving next Saturday at 6 o'clock, my time, against Impoli, where we go again. So let me know your uh, thoughts in the comments. Like the video. Let's push you 100 likes. That's the goal. Should be easy. Hit that like button now. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for a breakdown. Ciao.